Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Ordinary Face Serums. Now the Ordinary has many little bottles, which also have different formulations but also have a different texture and therefore you also may feel confused about knowing what would be the right amount for you to also use so it feels comfortable on the skin and that you also won't come across any issues. And then on the other hand, how can you also apply it evenly to your face? There are also a few application methods which I wanted to share with you also in a little demonstration so that you also can see it visually, can try it out at home and based on that adjust it. Now I do also want to be very specific. For this video we are talking about the amount of product that you're going to use as well as how you can apply it. And this video does not cover how you can set up a skincare routine nor does it cover the conflicts of the ordinary products, meaning with what you can and cannot use some of the ordinary products in your skincare routine. If you want to know more about those two questions specifically, I recommend also checking out the video in the top right corner, which is my ordinary beginner's guide. But for now, let's focus on the application. Now, first of all, generally speaking, using about two to three drops for your face and neck and a couple of drops more if you also want to use it on your decolletage is also a great guide where you can get started. However, depending also on your serum that you're currently using, this either may not be enough or it may be too much and therefore you also need to adjust it. Then on the other hand, not only does the formulation and feeling from the serum play a big role, but it's all about your skin. What does your skin need? Your age? Are you younger? Then your skin may not feel the need to also use so much product or even that specific serum. Or on the other hand, if you are being older, you also have maybe dry skin, then your skin can also absorb the product so quickly where if you're going to use two to three drops, this may not be enough because your skin has already like drunk and everything up. And so therefore finding the right balance, also depending on the serum that you are going to use, is really important. And so therefore I have a three example serums right here, which also have a different like texture as well as also formulation, which I also want to go over. And I want to share with you the different application methods. And in, I included in total three different application methods, which you can also try out at home and see also which one works the best for you. None of them is right or wrong. It's really about what serum you're using and also what works the best for you. But I still want to also include them so that you also can see it visually. Now I do also want to give you some clear instructions. First of all, depending also on what ordinary serum you're having, I recommend always checking out the directions on the back of your bottle or the back of the packaging because sometimes they also are a bit more specific on it or even on their website because not every serum should be used in the morning and evening. Some serums can be used daily in the morning and evening, other serums are preferred to also use in the evening or only in the morning, whereas sometimes depending on what you're using, you may just want to use it a couple of times per week. So therefore looking at the instructions and directions that it also giving you is really important. Not only does this play a big role to when you can use it, but also how you can use it. Sometimes some of the ordinary zones do mention that you can also use it over the entire face without any issues. The only thing that they do mention is that please do not use it on compromised or sensitive skin, meaning if you have like a damaged skin barrier or broken skin barrier or sensitive skin in general. And they also do emphasize on most bottles that you shouldn't get it in contact with your eyes, meaning do not get the zone into your eyes because this can irritate your eye. However, sometimes on certain bottles, that's why it's important to also look it up, it does mention that you should avoid the eye area, meaning also specifically the eye contour. And also please do not use it on your eyelids because it also includes a lot of movement and when you're going to apply certain serums on your eyelids and it gets into your eyes because of the movement, it can irritate your eyes. So therefore I recommend start off with also uh, looking up the directions before you're going to apply to your face because this can change. And then also on the other hand, please also do not get it too close on your lip itself. Not only because you can eat it, like kind of eat it, but also because your lip in general is already a bit more sensitive, similar to when getting it too close to the eyes or using it on your eyelids. Okay, so now that I have broken it down, let's get started with the first application method, as well as also the amount of product that you're going to use. 
Now as my first example, I have the ordinary marine hyronics right here. Now the marine hyronics is one great example that ordinary has also very water-like thin um, zeroms that if you're going to use two to three drops for it, it may not be enough. So if you have a thin texture, then you may all, and it's not sticky at all, you may need to use more than two to three drops. However, I recommend get started with two to three drops, see how it feels on your face, maybe neck and decolletage, and then based on that, adjust it. Start off with one more drop or two more drops and then see how it's going to feel on the skin. But I still recommend not using too much. Now for me personally, with my uh, marine hyaluronics, I like to use, for example, four drops because it has a thinner texture. And one application method that I can share with you is also using it in the palm of your hand. So go ahead, use the dropper. And I used four drops. Then I like to use it between my hands and then gently use it all over your face. And with this serum, for example, you can also go ahead and gently blend it all over your face. So you're going to use your hands and you're going to gently and evenly apply it all over. So, and once you have gently also blended it into the skin, this is one application method by using it in the palm of your hand, as well as one great example where I used more than two to three drops, where I actually like to use four drops, since it is not going to be enough for me when I'm using less of it. And so therefore, that's a great example to also adjust it based on how your skin is also going to absorb it, but also the texture of the serum. If you feel like four drops may not be enough, because you also may want to include your neck and decolletage to it, add a couple of drops more to it. But I do not recommend using also like a quarter or half a pipette full of product and apply it to your face. Because this is going to be too much for your skin and your skin can't really absorb all the product and therefore it's going to like basically lay on top and it's not being able to also sink into the skin. Like let's say if you're going to use marine hyaluronics and you're going to use too much of it and you can feel that your skin isn't able to absorb it all, then it can feel slimy on the face. And that's where you also may need to think about, well, the next time I'm going to use less and see how that feels on the skin. Or the next time I'm going to use more and see how this feels on the skin. Your skin shouldn't feel dry out, nor should it feel in that specific case slimy or that you can feel a layer on top. Your, sh your skin should also feel like it has also fully absorbed the product. So that's one way on how you can use it if you have thin textures that are very like water-like. Now my next example is also a water-based serum, however the texture change. Now I'm using the Ordinary Niacinamide and the Ordinary Niacinamide has a thicker texture and it also is a little bit like glue, as you can see, it's a little bit thicker in texture. And if you are going to use too much of it, because it also feels a bit sticky, your skin is going to feel sticky. And if it's not going to be able to also feel fully absorbed into the skin, it can also feel a little bit tight and also dry on the skin where you can feel a layer on top. Therefore, in that specific case, using two to three drops, depending also on your skin, you may want to add more, you may want to add less to it, then you also have to adjust it and feel it on your skin. With niacinamide, for example, I'm going to stick with three drops as I'm going to change my application method. And for this specific application method, I'm going to use it immediately on my face. So, now that's also a different application method. Now, with niacinamide specifically, and also the ordinary hyaluronic acid, for example, those have the thicker texture as well as also stickier texture. If that's the case, please go ahead and start pressing it into the skin, like basically using a padding application method. And then once you have also pressed it all over into the skin and you still can feel that some product is left on top of the skin, you can also start gently blending it all over. Be gentle. Because if you're going to use niacinamide or hyaluronic acid, which have a thicker but also still stickier texture, then it also can cause pilling. 
meaning that also when also rubbing it or blending it too soon into the skin and it's not being able to already absorb into the skin it looks like your skin is going to flake off and you can not see white bits of it but it's not your skin it's the product that you're going to rub off therefore if you have sticky and thicker serums like niacinamide or hyaluronic acid press it into the skin and then go ahead and gently blend it all over, like blend the rest into the skin. And this way you also will avoid the pilling issue, but at the same time also making sure that you're really pressing it into the skin, that you're getting the serum into the skin. And then how it also should feel on the skin is not really sticky, it shouldn't feel sticky, it should kind of feel dry, but not drying out, but so that you can feel that it has fully sinked into the skin and doesn't have a strange layer on top. If it feels sticky or you can see that you're getting too shiny all of a sudden, then you probably also have used too much of it. And then the next time you also want to reduce the amount of product of it. And in that specific case, the application method that I just used is also another one. So with the application methods that I'm about to share with you, you can try them all. Like there's no right, no wrong on how you're going to apply it to your face. It's about the padding application method for some serums works better than already immediately blending it into the skin. That's what I want to teach you with this video. Then the last term that I have is also the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil, which is an oil. Again, different formulation. It is also similar to the Anhydra Solutions. The Anhydra Solutions, it's the same guide basically that I'm about to share with you because they have an oilier texture. Now, when using too much of an oil or too much of an Anhydra Solution, then it can feel oily on the skin and it also can look like extremely greasy on the skin. And therefore finding the right amount of oil or of your anhydro solutions that you're going to use is important. Now in that specific case, you do not have the issue that it can feel slimy or sticky on the skin when using too much of it. But with that specific um, serum or formulation, you cannot come across the issue that you're getting shiny and oily all over your face. And that's also a feeling that's not comfortable because the product is sitting on top of your skin and won't be able to also feel absorbed into the skin. And therefore, when also using an oil, I recommend sticking to the guide. Use two to three drops. That's your guide point where you're always going to start. And based on that, you can adjust it, use more or less of it. But with an oil, stick to two to three drops. See how it's going to feel on the skin, how far you can blend it. If your skin is going to absorb everything all in one go, then you may want to use a couple of drops more. However, if your skin feels good and comfortable on the skin, then also stick to that amount. Now I'm going to use the rosehip seed oil and I'm going to stick with two drops. Now another application method that I want to share with you is also using it on your fingertips. So we had the palm of your hand, we had immediately onto your face and now you can also use it on your fingertips. And then gently apply it all over. Now, especially with oils, you can blend them into the skin if you have, um, for example, applied, if you have any water-based serums beforehand, if you have applied your water-based serum correctly and it has been able to also sink into the skin, then you can also go ahead and use the oil without an issue also on top with the blending method where I'm just going to gently go over my face and blend it into the skin. Now my skin right now doesn't feel oily, like uncomfortable oily, and it also does not feel greasy or looks greasy. It actually feels great on the skin. And so therefore, playing around with the amount of product that you're going to use is also important because your skin itself, it's not always the same. If two to three drops work best for me, then you may feel the need to add more or use even less than I just used. And that's totally fine. It's about finding out the right amount. But using between two to three drops is a great start point and then start playing around with the amount of it. It may be already the right amount for your skin, but you also may need to adjust to it. And so when also using an oil, again, start off with the guide and then see how it also feels and looks on the skin and then based on that you can also say well yes it feels great uncomfortable on the skin or no it's too oily it's too greasy i need to change something and that's totally fine 
and the application methods that I have just shared with you work with any of the ordinary zones. Just because I just used the water-based zones on the palm of my hand, also um, immediately on my face, you can do the same with the oil or vice versa. So there's no right and wrong with the application method. I just wanted to demonstrate the like three different styles on how you can also get them to your face and then work it into the skin. And this is also what I mainly wanted to focus on for this specific video that you, that you can see how much I'm using, that you can see also how you can apply it on your skin and also blend it evenly into the skin. That's really important. Now, so I do hope that with this little demonstration and with the different textures and zones that I've used, I could give you now an idea of how you can get started and based on that, play around and have fun with it. I also do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you find it helpful. And if you did so, please also don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and happy skin caring. Bye.